The next move is the James Brown Shuffle. This one is gonna make use of a pivoting motion in our feet, which may be new to some of you, so we're gonna break down the pivot at first, and then we're gonna show you the James Brown Shuffle. All right, so now let's do the James Brown Shuffle. Okay, I'm gonna start by pivoting to my right. Five, six, seven, eight. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, let's try facing this way. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. All right, so you can see there's a lot of pivoting going on, so let's break this down. <clears throat> so, to practice your pivot is gonna help you get this move a little faster. So just pretend that uh, when, you, when you start to do this move, if I'm going to my right side, I'm gonna be pivoting on my, my right heel. Okay, like this. So I wanna feel like my toe comes off the ground and I can just do this motion very freely. All right, with my left foot, I'm gonna pivot at the same time on the ball of my foot. So it feels like I'm kicking forward with my heel. Okay, kind of like if you were kicking a soccer ball without picking your foot up off the ground. All right, so let's just try that one at a time. I'm gonna start by pivoting on my right foot first. I'm gonna do four and then I'm gonna do my left foot four times. I'm gonna go back to my right and then my left. So four times each, we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, if it takes you longer to get used to the, just doing that without any trouble, just do it a few more times, okay? But for now, let's move on. From here, I'm gonna start with my feet facing inward a little bit. So it feels like my knees and my toes are making a triangle. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna do both those moves I just did at the same time. So my right foot is gonna pivot out, my toe's gonna go out to the side, and then my left foot is gonna pivot on my toe and the heel's gonna go out to the side, all right? So I'm just gonna do this facing this way so you can see what the picture looks like before we do it facing here. So at the same time, heel, toe looks like this and then you come back down to the center. Try to do this to one side, all right? So again, my right toe is going up as I pivot on my heel. My left heel is coming up as I pivot on my toe. Let's try to go to the right side eight times in a row. This is gonna help us get our balance. So we go one and two and three and four, little faster, one and two, and three, and four, and. Okay, that's one side. So let's do it one more time before we go to the left. Again, if you make your feet really wide, it's gonna feel awkward. Try to keep your feet closer together. They don't wanna be all the way touching because then you're not gonna be able to move. Maybe about shoulder width is a good thing to start with this step. Keep your knees a little bent. Five, six, eight times, seven, eight. We go one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. Okay, sometimes the, the shoe that you wear might feel difficult to pivot, so don't, don't overdo it. Don't try to make something really big and then throw off your, your knees and your ankles. They might get hurt. So keep this one small. Now, let's reverse it and go to the left side. So my left foot is gonna pivot on my heel this time, and my right foot's gonna pivot on my toe so that my heel kicks forward. So let's do it individually. Left foot, one, two, three, four. Right side, heel, two, three, four, and one. Two, three, four, and heel. Two, three, four. Now let's try it, same time. My left toe is gonna come up, my right heel is gonna come up at the same time as this one. Start with your toes and knees facing inward. We go slow, six, seven, eight, one and two, and you want this to feel easy, and four, and a little faster, one, and two, and three, and four, and. Let's try it a little faster, eight times, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. You'll notice that I start to maybe use other parts of my body, but I'm not trying to overdo it. 
It's about the footwork and just letting everything else complement it. All right? So now the tricky part is going to be going from side to side. So let's try it slow. Start from here. Every time you finish, you're going to come back facing in. This is going to be the easiest position to pivot from. So the first side is going to be right heel, left toe. One. Okay, sometimes balancing here for a second really makes you feel where your contact surface is. So don't, don't worry about rushing. We're going to come back in. Two. Now we're going to try this side. My left toe is going to come up, my right heel. Three. Four. Let's try it slow, this way. One. In. Two. In. Three. In. Four. In. Okay. You don't even really have to pick this toe up initially if you're practicing. You can just pivot out, in, out, in, out, in. This is essentially what you're doing and just adding a little more style to it. All right? So pivoting is going to play a big role in getting this move right. Okay, let's try to go side to side a little faster. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. All right, let's try it one last time. I'll do it to the speed that I would normally do it to, to music. Okay, it's gonna be a little bit faster. You know, stay patient. Five, six, seven, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. All right, just remember, be patient, practicing your pivoting motion first. Make sure that you can do it on both sides, here, and then trying to do it at the same time on one side. That's the best way to get this step, other side. And then you can try to put it together to do the James Brown shuffle. So stylistically, I'm not going to really add too much to this move, but just know that this is a move that uh, music legend James Brown would do a lot when he was performing, and he always looked like he was enjoying himself and having a good time. So he was never stiff, but he also wasn't doing anything crazy with his upper body either. So try to relax the best you can, and when you go side to side, whatever comes out naturally, go with that. All right, so if I'm facing this way, I might just start to do the step without even thinking about my upper body. Here, 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 here. And I want to just maintain this step and then when I kind of feel like, oh, maybe I'll add something like shoulders. Just show me my shoulders side to side. Okay, you can do that. You can add your hands a little bit. Okay, you could even do movements that we've done in other modules, like the wave. Okay, here. But it's all being done at the same time as this step. If you add your upper body, make it small. Make sure that it fits, just like a nice jacket would. You put your jacket on, it fits. Feels good to wear outside. When you do the step, do something that complements the step so it feels nice. All right? And that's all I have to say about the James Brown Shuffle. Okay, now let's do it to the music.